Welcome to St. Marie in Tal Monastery. Nowhere else in Germany have Sisters of the Cistercian Order been in one place for over 700 years without interruption. Nowhere else were they forced to stand up to such elemental threats as Reformation, the Nazi period, the GDR, German Democratic Republic, and also the Nysa Flood, which was repeated in 2010. The monastery was flooded meters high after just being renovated with great effort. On that evening back then, it rose up to this height in four hours almost up to the roof of this building here. On the whole site, the water reached an average of six and a half feet. So both of us would now be totally underwater. We would not survive. During the night in which the water was always rising and with no prospect of an end, nobody could anticipate what would be the next day, how much the water would rise and how much damage it would do. And then that was a really heavy moment when the water had finally receded enough to make it possible to wade through the vicinity in boots and when you inspected the rooms for the first time. Everything was in chaos, nothing was usable anymore. The church, the benches were floating around in there. When everything is demolished and there is no normality anymore, that really was a life-threatening affair. At the last moment, I was able to recover the monstrance from the church. When I began the effort, my boots were wet, and on the short way back, water was already pouring into them. It was bad, but I succeeded. The water was up to here, up to the top edge of the sill, seven and a half feet high, a little higher than the flood in 1897, which up to that moment had been the worst flood ever. Now the restorers not only have to fight the damage of 2010, but also from 1897, because at that time restoration was not yet an option. In part, there are a few big challenges here, like the paintings in the back there, which are directly drawn onto the plaster. Surrounding the paintings, the monochromatic areas have extensively just been chipped off, and after reapplying the plaster, those parts can be freshly painted again. Probably there will be a few more thousand in addition to the 150,000 liters of water that have already been drained from the walls. Actually, the monastery is a place of prayer, and we trust that it will remain so. But it is also a landmark because of what the sisters have achieved through the centuries. Many people are drawn here to behold it, to feel at ease and to enjoy it, knowing that Marienthal is not just a museum, but an active monastery, which entails the work of the sisters and intact buildings. The cloister is usually a place of tranquility, of prayer and meditation. But we cannot use it as such at the moment because right now the monastery is in a state of total chaos and we actually do not know when we will be able to use it again. Here in the library we have the problem that the moisture from the cloister is slowly moving upwards year by year and is threatening our historical book collection. 
There are books here which are a few hundred years old, some of them dating from the earliest printings, and some handwritten manuscripts that were not destroyed in the fire of 1683. So there are very valuable pieces here. The financing of the whole constructional measure is of course a very difficult matter. Thankfully, we soon were reassured by the government that Marine Tal Monastery would receive subsidies, which took a huge load of our mind. But now we have to process everything according to the funding guidelines, which is not an easy undertaking. Up to now, the project will cost an estimated 17 million dollars. Our share of 10%, which we have to come up with ourselves, and the part that is not being financed is enormous. We still must raise between 4 and 5 million dollars ourselves for the subsidies to be effective and dispersed. And that really is a pretty huge responsibility that can cause you some sleepless nights. That is why we ask you from the bottom of our hearts to help our monastery, help our sisters. I dare to cordially thank everybody in advance who will joyfully contribute with their donation. Thank you. In February 2013, it almost happened again, short only by a few inches. The sisters urgently need to increase their flood protection before the water comes back again. That alone costs a few hundred thousand dollars. Please help them with your donation to restore the monastery and safeguard it from another catastrophe. Every dollar helps.